Every year the clocks in Canada go through a ritual twice a year springing forward in the spring and falling back in the fall. This practice is known as Daylight Saving Time DST, and it has been a part of Canadian life for over a century. The concept of DST may seem like a mundane routine, but its history is fascinating and has played a significant role in the lives of Canadians. The idea of saving daylight hours goes back as far as ancient Rome when they adjusted their schedules to take advantage of longer daylight during the summer months. However, the modern concept of DST can be credited to a British builder named William Willett. In 1905, to better use daylight, Willett proposed advancing clocks 20 minutes each Sunday in April and reversing the change in September. His idea gained traction and eventually led to the institution of DST. Port Arthur, Ontario now part of Thunder Bay, was the first municipality in the world to enact daylight saving time on July 1, 1908. Germany later became the first country to adopt the time change on April 30, 1916. According to history, in Canada, DST was first implemented in 1916 during World War I as an energy-saving measure. Its rationale was to make better use of natural light and reduce the consumption of artificial lighting, thereby saving valuable fuel resources. The concept gained particular significance during wartime when every effort was made to conserve resources for the war effort. However, DSD became a permanent fixture in Canada much later. In the 1960s and 1970s, provinces and territories individually decided whether to observe DST. This led to a patchwork of different time zones across the country, resulting in confusion and difficulty in coordinating activities between regions. Recognizing the need for consistency, the federal government decided to standardize DSD nationwide. In 1986, the Uniform Time Act was introduced, establishing DSD as a nationwide policy in Canada. Since then, the country has adhered to uniform start and end dates for DST. Clocks are moved forward by one hour on the second Sunday in March and then moved back by one hour on the first Sunday in November. While the initial rationale for DST was energy conservation, opinions on its continued effectiveness vary. Proponents argue that it reduces electricity usage, increases recreational opportunities, and even improves road safety by providing more daylight during evening rush hours. Skeptics, on the other hand, debate its energy-saving benefits and highlight possible negative effects on health, sleep patterns, and the economy. Over the years, discussions surrounding DSD have emerged sporadically, with some regions of Canada contemplating whether to abandon the practice altogether. However, concerns about aligning schedules with neighboring regions and potential economic repercussions have kept the conversation alive, preventing major policy alterations. Despite the ongoing debate, daylight saving time remains an integral part of Canadian life. Beyond its practical implications, it has become a ritual that marks the arrival of warmer months and longer days. Canadians eagerly anticipate the day when they can spring forward their clocks, signaling the start of summer and a more vibrant, sun-soaked season. In conclusion, the history of daylight saving time in Canada is one of evolution and adaptability. From a wartime energy-saving measure to a countrywide policy, DSD has left its mark on Canadian society. Whether it continues to serve its original purpose is a matter of ongoing debate. Still, for now, it remains a defining aspect of Canadian life a time-honored tradition of turning the clocks ahead and making the most of daylight hours. Of turning the